the red dragon or the red weapon. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, there's a thousand things I can say about this camera. For time's sake, for all your sake, I'm just going to go over the basics of this camera and then we'll cover it in more detail later. But for any filmmaker out there, I think it's important to understand how this camera works just to prepare for the future when you'll have the opportunity to film on a red camera. Going to film school, we were filming on actual film. And then at the time, the red one came out. This is like back in 2010. Um, or as far as the red one came out to our film school, we actually got a red one. And it was like the biggest deal because it was one of the first digital cameras that could film in RAW. RAW allows you to have much more information where you can change a lot of your settings later without losing the quality of your image. You can change settings such as color temperature, ISO, and a lot of other settings as well. Now the RED camera itself, it's a very expensive camera. You could be spending around $50,000 plus dollars for essentially the things that you're gonna need to actually be able to film with. Now this right here is the exact camera that we use on our channel on all our main videos. This is also a camera that they use in Hollywood for a lot of big movies such as The Hobbit, Transformers, Spider-Man, a lot of big Hollywood movies, they are using this camera because it produces an amazing image and it also does it in RAW, so they'll have a lot more information in post. Now, it also means if you're filming with RAW or with the RED, that's taking up a lot more hard drives, a lot more information. So let's just talk about the basics. So this is the card that we use. We use a 512 gig card and it goes right here in this compartment just like that. So first thing, buy the cards, they're super expensive. I'll have a link below to Red's website so you can get an idea if you're really actually interested in purchasing this camera. But this isn't traditionally something that most people own, it's usually companies that own it. That's the reason why we even have it is because we are a company because you guys support us. So there, yeah, there you have it. So now let's talk about the battery. So the Red One, when it first came out, it shot in 4K. And then they came out with the Red Epic that could shoot in 5K. And then they came out with the Red Dragon that can film in 6K. And then they came out with the Red Weapon. And this has been upgraded to the Red Weapon body, but it hasn't been upgraded yet to the 8K sensor, which is coming out a year from now. We've actually paid for that upgrade. We're just waiting for them to get the technology essentially to where it needs to be so they can actually upgrade it. But everything has been done, so eventually, sooner than later, once they come out with 8K, we'll be filming all our videos in 8K, so everyone that has 8K monitors can be watching them, which we don't even own an 8K monitor, just for the record. So this is the battery, the new red weapon. It actually can take these bigger batteries, and this will last for about an hour, hour and 20 minutes, just like that. So this is the camera and everything I need to start filming in 6K. And once that new update comes out and they upgrade the sensor, I'll be able to film in 8K. So right here is where the lens goes. I'm sure you could figure that out. Most Hollywood cinema cameras, they use a PL mount. The mount is this device right here that you can put a lens in to film your videos. So PL mount, that means it takes a lens that has a PL mount on it as well, or PL lens. So those are usually very expensive lenses, generally speaking. So we film all of our videos with Canon lenses, so we actually bought a Canon mount. So that's the mount you see right here. And if you take it off, you can actually see the sensor, which you shouldn't normally expose for too long, but you can see that the actual sensor itself is red. So that's where it got its name. Now something cool about red is red was created by the owner of Oakley, a gigantic company, the sunglass company. He's a huge camera enthusiast and he was like, I want to create a way and pour a lot of my money into creating a camera that also independent filmmakers can use to essentially be able to compete with Hollywood. When he invested all that money into it, that's exactly what he was able to do. Now, even though this camera is expensive, and I just mentioned the price, around $50,000 plus, dollars, that's significantly cheaper than most cameras that can produce what this does. When a lot of Hollywood cameras, you're spending $200,000 plus. So, super expensive, but super cheap compared to what is out there as far as its competitors. 
So now let's put a lens on here. Watch this. So I'm putting a 16 to 35 millimeter. Put it on just like that. And I screw this and it just keeps the lens a little bit snugger. And this is actually a really heavy camera. We glide cam with this and it kills me. And I'm exhausted from carrying this. It, it is heavy. I'll have the exact specs pop up right now of how heavy this camera is. So the camera itself, it has red buttons on it. One there and one there. I can push this button on the side and it will boot up the camera. Now this is literally like a computer. So I turn it on. You can hear the fan going. There's two fans right here. And it's literally booting up just like a camera was. Because it is so powerful, it runs with the camera. It runs with the camera. It is a camera. It runs like a computer and it has fans because this can overheat. So this prevents that from overheating. We've never had any problems overheating. Um, just be mindful of that. And my hand is so exhausted. So as the camera is booting up, this screen that we have, it's a seven inch monitor that RED makes, and it's also a touch screen, and it allows us to view the image in 1080p. So right here, I have where I can actually change my frame rate, and this, if I'm filming at 8K, I can film at 82.81 frames per second, if I'm filming in full 6K. So I'm going to film right now at 24 frames per second or 23.98. Just like this, I can change my f-stop. I can change my shutter. And my color temperature, 5600 is what I have it set at and that's usually what we're shooting at. So basically what it comes down to, you have a lot of control, a lot of settings, a lot of memory that you can film with. Um, usually when we're filming, for if we have a full day where we're keeping fairly busy, we're going through two 512 gig cards. I've gone through at least three in one day when there was a lot of amazing stuff to film. But generally speaking, we're doing two cards a day when we're actually filming. And then this cable right here hooks the monitor straight here so I can actually see what you're seeing right now. So this is the setup that we're using. Now when we actually film, I can hit this record button or this record button and it will start recording. And if I want to power down the camera, I just push this button right here, hold it down for three seconds and it powers off. But I can see right here, I have 39% left on my memory card. The battery is at 96% and I can literally push this button here and I can see, oh, it has three bars as well. Now after I get done filming with the red, I'll pull the card out. And then they actually have card readers, red card readers. And I'll plug it in like that, hook it up by USB or eSATA, who uses eSATA, and FireWire 800, who uses FireWire 800. But we're using USB 3. I can literally plug this straight into my computer and start downloading the footage from filming red in 6K. There you have it. So that is a quick, quick, quick red tutorial on just the basics of this camera and how to turn it on how to turn on a red 101 so any questions that you have leave it down below in the description and i'll do a follow-up video covering the red if people aren't interested in this camera we're not going to go into detail about it but i thought no one's really done something somewhat detailed about what this camera does and what it's all about. So I gave you a brief history about it and how we utilize the camera itself. So there you have it. I'm gonna quit this now because I can hardly hold up the camera. Thanks so much for watching. Over and out. Yeah, wham, bam, super tramp. And I tipping up my hat while I boost the fans. And I have a rock top, can you feel the noise? All the girls scream now cause they want the boys. Yo, making all the clouds looking like a big joke when I run so fast and I